get a nerds. We're playing Victoria Three. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna do this, and and if things go bad, then they go bad. So. Let's get going here. I'm gonna mark that there. We're going to mobilize all of our troops. I feel like we should have. Oh, one of our main generals passed away. All right, let's see. You're an Orleanist, but you're the best guy I got. On the other hand, you're aligning with the rural folk, but you're a legitimist. Hmm. Well, I don't see legitimism going anywhere, so I'm gonna recruit you. Can I get someone better? Yeah, you're a reformer. You're cruel. But that's not necessarily bad as a commander. And you're an offensive planner. Olivier de Talleyrand Perigord. I'll go with you. I'll promote you a little bit. Otherwise, all the remaining generals. Um, so for now, just go ahead and pop most of our generals onto what I see as the main front. And leave just a few over here on the front facing Bavaria. And then we'll pop some of our side generals onto the Bavarian front with Austria. <laughs> and hopefully that will sort itself out. And then before we go doing anything rash, I'm going to try to grab North Rhine. Now, I'm at 7.1, and if I grab North Rhine, it'll give me 14, so that'll put me at 21.1, and that should be fine. If I add it to primary, it's going to be 7 infamy, though, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it where it is. A Saxony is out. That's okay. And candidness. Just gonna slow down the Civil War progress for now. I don't care if Henri Bonaparte loses some pro some uh, popularity. Prussia is rivaling us. Very good. Henri Bonaparte, are you still a child? You're not, and you're direct. Excellent. All right. So that's what's caused our authority to go up again. Wonderful. 60 days. Let's see, 20.8. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to add this to the primary unless I'm going... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it anyway because they're not our primary war target. That's right, I forgot. That's a whole mechanic. I should have remembered that that existed. Just going to take a look at our market. We're still a little short on steel because none of the steel mills that I built have actually been built yet. <laughs> Wurttemberg has aligned with Bavaria. I don't know. I don't think that's going to really affect anything. But we'll put a small general on the Wurttemberg front. Again, having Austria on our side makes all this easier, especially given the fact that Prussia is still in a war uh, on their own steam over in another field. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident, maybe unreasonably so, about this. Insufficient construction for investment pool. Well, gosh, Shaggy, that's uh, that's that's that means we need to get. More buildings over to the higher construction method. Once again, that has completely goofed up our steel market, but we're going to be building steel mills soon, so that should work out just fine. The mob approaches. Uh, I'm going to try and disperse the crowds by force, and that has reduced the revolution progress. We've done a good job of getting going with this. I think I'm going to queue up. We got, we're researching pan-nationalism currently. I think the next thing we need is identification documents because I need to get the higher investment level for um, home affairs. Because these revolutions... Excellent. Progressive drafting. Because these revolutions are not making me happy. 
Um, got good chances, 107 days. This is an eight-week cycle, which is 56 days, so hopefully we should be able to get going there. We're in the countdown to war. Back down. Back down, you fool. You're going to get munched and crunched. Although I guess maybe you can't back down because... Oh, right. You No, you can back down. Um, but I'm actually kind of hoping they don't because... Hey, there it goes. Well, that hadn't been said this... Ooh. That's a nice France. Uh, winds of change. Ile de France has gone a long way since our attention was first brought to it. Going from small houses and scattered farmlands to being on its way to becoming a booming, a blooming metropolis. The woman sighs, her old hands stop crocheting for a second. When I was younger, all this was farmlands. I'm going to do a funny old lady voice. No, you know what? We're going to do the old lady, we're going to do the, the washer one from Disco Elysium. When I was younger, all of this was farmlands. Us kids would just play freely in the fields. Not having to worry about getting hit by a cart or those criminals coming to get us. And we still had time to work. Well, Grandma, now people have more places to work at. That wasn't a great voice, but I tried. Uh, finally, Ile de France shines in number four extra loyalists from center of living increases. Or this is not the end, extra urban center throughput. I'm definitely going with the first one. I love having loyalists in my capital. I just love it. It's the best. There's postal savings. Um, that was a technology that was spreading to us. Shouldn't be a problem. So now, we have to ask ourselves, does Prussia have a truce with us? They don't. So I think we're just going to go immediately towards uh, a return state play in North Rhine. We're going to keep going. So... We're going to do essentially exactly the same thing we just did. We're going to put our main generals on the main front. Uh, we're going to have secondary generals on the Ottoman front. I don't have a front with the Ottomans anywhere else, do I? No, it looks like not. Uh, and then tertiary generals on these small fronts here. I think... Front of the Saxony, didn't realize. In front of the South Tyrol Westphalia front. Is that this? I think we'll be fine. Alright, Publishing Committee Prosecutions. A committee of publishers associated with the landowners that produce incendiary pamphlets has been brought before the courts. The agglomeration of dangerous this agglomeration of dangerous men must be stopped. We must take from them the means of provoking the mob and reduce these arrogant fools to their true proportions, to their real role as little more than obscure conspirators and criminals. Push for the trial in the courts. Reduce the civil war progress. Quietly muzzle the publishers. Uh, let them go. They're harmless. I'm going to go with this one. This will weaken our enemies, the landowners, and reduce the civil war progress. Hell yeah, another victory for censorship. I did it. I'm the best. <laughs> so, we have the advantage. I can sway... The United States. Interesting. They would like regime change. Interesting. Subject. Let's transfer Mecklenburg's Strelitz to America. Oh, that's really interesting. Or I could offer to humiliate them. Change. This is going to get me heckin' aggressive expansion, I think. Enact two laws. It seems pretty strong.
but let's let's do humiliation. I bet I can get humiliation out of them. America, join me. We got a strong America this time. A strong America and an independent Texas, interestingly enough. That's wild. This is probably just our first round of steel mills, right? Let me just double check on that and make sure. 17. Look at the sides of Prussia. United States, sides of France. Excellent. We're at 1.9. We're continuing to build up more. We're getting some from trade routes, though. How's glass? Glass is... Could be better. And is the private sector building steel mills not as many as I would like? But that is what it is. Gosh, I sure wish this wasn't radicalizing 7k people per uh, per week, but... Hold up, we got a power imbalance over here that needs to be dealt with. What? What? Why are you... Why are you... No! Alright. Jacques Laurier de Sondar, no. Noting severe unrest in Rhineland is proposed using the army to suppress agitation in the area. Uh, reprimand him. He's demoted to Major General. Let's use the tools for the problems we have. Bad option. Or brute force may be the best option here. Because he doesn't have honorable and because he has pillager, bandit, or wrathful. Let's give it a try. Dang. Revolution progress. Not what I wanted. But it is what it is. Come on, success. Grassroots support for law. Well... I, I would love to have a bunch of loyalists in Franche Comte, but um, let's get more political movement support. Because uh, that'll increase my chances of enacting it, which I do want very badly. Alright, let's go. I really hope I can do this. I really hope I haven't bit off more than I can chew here. But, you know, it is what it is. Police brutality. Oh. I got the use of forces warranted. That might actually be better for me. Yeah, because I need the armed forces and petite bourgeoisie on my side on this. The countdown to war is happening. All right. Our fronts are looking solid. So far, I think we can win this using just our professional armies. I don't want to do too much conscripting. Prussia has declared a rivalry with Austria. That's wonderful. Two arms. In the hands of the state. We've seen this event before. I don't want to get political movement radicalism because that'll increase the ceiling, so I'm going to have to go with this one. Because um, as long as this stays at, uh, at 59 uh, radicalism, or as long as this stays basically below you know, 9, 80 or 90 radicalism, I can't this can't become a revolution revolution. So, I think I'm going to keep it where we are. Stirring radicals. Urgh! An ornane belly. Dang it. Why do I keep getting radicalization events? Curse you, springtime of the people's event chain! Curse you! Ironclad. Great time to have iron... Do I not have anyone in charge of my navies? I don't. Whoopsie doodle. All right. Occitania, we got a brave, experienced naval commander who's a reformer. You're going in the main seat. Promote and promote. And then for the other spot, you're a legitimist who lines the rural folk. You're an industrialist, an innovative, and a Republican. You'll do. 
Uh, let's do a little bit of convoy raiding here. And I think this guy will keep on coastal defense for now. We're winning this battle. Let's get it, get it properly going here. Uh, this is having a halt put to it by the fact that there's a revolutionary movement going on, which is a shame. Come on, advance homesteading. You can do it. I believe in you. The procession of provocations. So, again, all these revolutionary events we've seen before, but um, we got uh, people marching in the low countries. We can stop the procession. 33% chance of a bunch of radicals, 33% chance of a small number of radicals, 33% chance of civil war progress going down, or 50-50 on each, but uh, radicals either way. I'm going to hit this one. It went up, but that's okay, because it's going to go back down at the next tick. Come on, homesteading. Ah, there's some speech. Uh, let's just go with the enactment chance. I really want to keep this going. Okay, so we've had success here. Sorry, I'm just grabbing small commander for this one front that's got nobody on it. Uh, and then we've got this situation here. I'm going to pop this guy over here so that we can have a good solid ratio here, because I just... I don't want to have small fronts on, near the main front. Because this is one of those things that can just, like, devolve into a headache really fast. Oh my goodness, did, did Prussia's other war just finish? They got, they got a bunch of territory in Hanover. Well, that's just fine. We're doing just fine. Hold up, excuse me. Where are you now? Why are you over here? You need to be over here on the, the main front? Gorsh, Shaggy. Wish you wouldn't do that. They are going to work on the AI uh, with front management and all that. And that's something I'm glad of because... I've really been, it's, it's been a bit of a struggle, TBHVAC, with this stuff. Just keeping my, my eye on, uh, on this situation so that I can reassign this guy as soon as he needs to be reassigned and don't wind up in a situation where he's just sort of standing about doing nothing when I need him on the front that's the main front. And I understand that this... Event is ticking away, but I I just I gotta not miss this. And we'll slow that one up later. These are my these are my these are my techniques for ensuring uh, good play. Watch and, and learn. This battle was like seventy days long. Wurtemberg cool. bailed. You are coming back over here to the middle. There's another small front. Alright, so. The only enemy bury workers' brigades. Uh, armed workers affiliated with the industrialists. Progressive faction have volunteered to assist government forces in countering reactionary forces that would threaten France. We need all the support we can get. Increase the war progress by five and make the industrialists a lot stronger. Or. Demand the organization disarm at once. Increase it by 10, make the industrials weaker. Let's go with the first one. Right, sedition among the Catholic Church. They are not sacrosanct as long as they continue to meddle in the politics. This makes them weaker and makes them angry, but reduces civil war progress. We can't become known executioners of priests. This makes them a lot stronger. Uh, we'll go with the first one. Uh, we will still get negative progress. Oh, come on. The score within the petite bourgeoisie. Uh, we're going to go with the biggest uh, enactment chance thing we can get because I just want to get this done. So, the Bonapartist world. Daniel Passerieux, the eloquent leader of the rural folk, has authorized, 
has authored a vivid tract outlining the Bonaparte political program. Friends, we must dream of a better tomorrow for all of France. What is the current regime? What is the current? What is the current regime? But a cruel mockery of France's history, all it has ever fought for and all it has ever achieved. To rejuvenate the nation, we must move forward. We must forge a new society, picking the very best elements of our history and our traditions to create an order which shall withstand the onslaught of modernity. Let us create a new tomorrow at the House of Bonaparte. Monarchist cause will advance by fifteen percent. Or Pessera and the royal and the rural folk deserve plaudits for their work. This gives him a bunch of popularity and. 10% extra prestige. I'm going to go with the first one. So I'm hoping that will advance this track. It does. Okay. Stirring Radicalism event. It's going to be in Franche Comte again. Alright. Moving right along here. For, uh, oh. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep putting... Uh, I, I don't understand why this game keeps creating these these dysfunctional fronts with nobody on them. All right, let's put you on the main front. This is the main front now, right? We can agree on that, can we not? So, and then I've got this massive situation going on over here. Oh, we're paused. Alright, Bavaria has bailed. Saxony has bailed. So, let's pause here. And get all of our armies on the fronts that matter, please. Because we need to concentrate force where it will have an effect. Ottoman uh, force over here. Let me see. Oh my gosh, we'll actually be able to grab this once we've pinched off this front. If we can get these battles done in a reasonable time frame. Come on, let's go. Uh, let's go. Sink some convoys. Sink some uh, convoys of the Prussians and the Ottomans. All right, so they're actually at minus six, so we'll be able to get this done pretty soon. And that is everything we need. Everyone's in favor. Not a bad war. Nice and quick. Give me what I want. So North Ryan gets incorporated. Ah, <sighs> nice. All right, the song's a downer. Let's get going here. Death March. Don't want that song either. <laughs> All right, we've been working on these steel mills. I think we might be able to. I think the economy might tolerate us just converting all the others over at the same time. No, too much glass. That having been said. Let's get a few more going. I know I got an event on the pot in the pot, but I want to work on this right now. So where are we? Glass. What we need is glass next. Uh, textile mills. Let's go ahead and get them working with the latest technology. And for glass, where have we got? Let's build a glassworks. I'm just trying to make sure. Let's build it in Guillaume. A big old glassworks. Vultures upon a carcass. 
Opportunistic members of the landowners of, defected, of the armed forces have defected to the landowners' cause. Carrying crows plucked from the fresh deaths, no matter the cause. Some, however, sense when a still living beast is about to die. The creatures will wait however long it takes for said meal to die, but better to be the first there with the choicest pick of the meat than hoping for scraps. So be it. Oh, that's really bad. Or try to coax some back. We'll try to coax some back. That's going to cost us some bureaucracy, but it is what it is. Come on. Give me, a, give me progress. Give me progress with homesteading. Frick. Are you still rivaling us? You are. And yeah, we'll rival you. Actually, no. I don't, I don't need to rival you right now. Port in the Sea of Anger. We've seen that one. I'm going to try... Law progress to voting. Excellent. We're at the limit. Well... Fine if I do, fine if I don't. We'll, uh, we'll send a relief column. Escalated tension, but that's okay. It's going to go back down. 78% here. We've got 89 days till the next check. Hopefully that'll do it, and that'll be a nice, uh, a nice spot of... So this will get us 4 point... <laughs> 420... Uh, million radicals, which will be nice. Ah, and there's pan nationalism unlocked. Wonderful. So now we're working on identification documents. That'll be good for avoiding all these freaking uh, all these freaking revolutions. Catholic Church called for intervention. The Catholic Church claimed to have suffered under our amoral government for far too long, and now have nailed a list of demands on the door of the government office. An emperor who rules without morality is nothing but a despot. No matter from whence he draws his worldly power. Do not underestimate how easily an regime which has lost its moral authority could be toppled. Let us grant the concessions and pray for peace. This makes them stronger but happier. I don't care a fig for what they want. This makes them join the insurrection. Or they can believe what they please in jail. We can weaken them. I'm going to go for this one. Uh, I don't mind the Catholic Church being stronger in the medium term. If it means making sure this doesn't pop off. So we've had our success. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, come on, music player. Let's go. I think the next... We do need Luxembourg, but more importantly... Do we need to take both Wallonia and Flanders? I feel like the answer is yes. Yeah, we need both Wallonia and Flanders. I need to get North Rhine Incorporated. Okay, so we're one way or another, we're going to have to go after all of Belgium. We're at 12.3 right now, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, the Feminine Order of French Low Countries. A group of women affiliated with the Catholic Church in French Low Countries have founded an organization with the purpose of arranging medical and material support for anti-government revolutionaries. The hateful tyrant Bonaparte has no authority in our temples and no place beside our God, said the veiled woman on the stand. We do not recognize the laws of man, for they are as fallible as the men who create them. We cannot afford to make martyrs of women, 10% progress, or crack down on women's religious organizations. Um, ooh, don't want that. Uh, I'll go with this one. Again, this going up isn't necessarily a problem for me. All right, we're at 93%. So we're in the home stretch now. Uh, we should be able to keep this decreasing or at least waffling about its maximum for another turn through here. A little something going on in North Bhopal. Oh, interesting. There's turmoil in Guyenne. That's a shame. Steel continues to go up in price. I think we're doing... So how much more of this have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But this is actually 6 more than that, so 15. Oh my gosh, Renlin's got so much. 22. Okay, so we haven't even converted half of our construction sectors yet. Revolutionary standoff in Picardy. 
we've seen this event before. Uh, you know, we'll dispatch a negotiating team. I don't want to get a bunch of devastation, so... Yeah, we'll dispatch a negotiating team. Oh, actually, though... Oof. The loss of infrastructure is going to be really bad in Picardy. Uh, let's go to the details screen. Where are we with infrastructure? Oh no, we're actually okay for infrastructure. Uh, and then extra penalties from turmoil. We don't have penalties from turmoil. We'll do it. Not a problem. Agrarian and farmer party. Oh my gosh, we're actually in the election cycle again already. Oh my goodness. A problem hath occurred. That's okay, though. This isn't so bad at all. <laughs> I know I'm throwing the rural folk out of the government, but uh, actually the new Republican Union is much better for our uh, our legitimacy than the old version, so I'm not, I'm not actually unhappy about that at all. Glass continues to be the main thing, but I, I do want to get the rest of these glassworks built, or uh, these steel mills built, because steel is absolutely the bottlenecking factor for, uh, for, um, uh, for steel frame construction. Uh, I'm not letting this go. I've paused us now, because I want to get this done, because this could break some kind of system if I let the revolution get destroyed before this happens. Um, Da -da -da -da. Ordered to violently suppress a popular riot in Lille, a battalion of French Low Country's garrison refused their orders, claiming the execution of such a command would run contrary to the laws of men and God alike. We've seen this event before. Uh, let's just go ahead and... Hush it down. I don't want to get a pile of radicals here. Come on. Hey, that's great. Well, we netted basically the same number of, uh, let's just get to the end of the week and see if this changes over. Well, we've netted basically the same number of radicals and loyalists as before, but ultimately it wound up right. We've got an agrarian and farmer party now, uh, and our Republican union is much stronger. Um, we've got homesteading, which will significantly reduce the power of our landowners, who are kind of the basis of our party of order, who are not great dudes who I don't love. Yeah, and uh, this whole thing is, has gone pretty well. We're, we've made good progress towards achieving the natural borders of France, and overall things have gone just fine. So with that having been said, uh, it is getting to be time for the end of the episode. I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun. I'll see you all on the other side.